It is a childhood rite of passage for most of us, taking off the training wheels and learning to ride a two-wheeler. As adults, we might take that skill for granted, but you won't anymore after you meet this someone you should know. Point to it. Tell me what we're doing. 8,179 miles. That's how far Tolu Zulu traveled from Pretoria, South Africa to Rochester to learn to ride a bike. As a dad, I've tried to, I mean, I bought him a bike. Um, and at first I thought, what can he, you know, it can't be that difficult for him to learn how to ride. But it can be difficult for any of us. It takes a while before the fear on one's face turns into a smile. One, two, three. Ready? Nice. You did so good. Bella Ponticello is one of the volunteers helping 11-year-old Tolu learn to ride at an annual camp run by Autism Up. It's, it's hard. I can't even imagine um, the fear going into it, but that's why we're here. We try to eliminate that fear. We try to motivate them. And towards the end of the week, we get the riders up on two wheels. This is the 11th year of the I Can Bike Camp here. Over 400 people with autism and other disabilities have taken part. And the success rate is almost 100%. <laughs> Getting too fast. In our community, most of the kids around there, they, you know, they, they ride bikes. So he's always left out in terms of integrating with the other kids. So I think that would be a plus for him to be able to do what the other kids do. Toby Lay found out about Autism Up and this camp from an internet search. Coming here with his son, wife, and mother-in-law, they've made new friends, friends who understand the challenges of autism. We've been invited for dinner for Friday, so, so I think we've got friends here now. Yeah, so this is more like uh, um, another home. By the end of the week, Tolu, someone you should know, We'll be riding on two wheels, it's practically guaranteed. And that trip, 8,179 miles just to learn to ride, is just the beginning of his journey. There's no telling how far he might go. You might know Rochester has a reputation as a leader in services and support for families dealing with autism. Well, Tobile is hoping to take some of what he learns here back home to South Africa with him. By the way, Autism Up's next big thing is the Kite Flight Fundraising Challenge. It's a big deal every summer, really? and uh, that's coming up in August, but you can get involved now, and we have a link at 13wham.com. You know, we take riding for bike for granted, right. learning to ride, but it's such a step of independence. You remember that as a kid? Sure, and, and for kids with autism and other disabilities, it can, as the dad said, get them in with a group of friends, mm -hmm. but it also down the road can be that independence for them and a real big stepping stone to uh, you know the next stage of their life. Yeah, confidence builder for sure.